Hi, how are you? Good I'm thing. the guest from Fangilis. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how are you? Yeah, good thanks. Well, my first question is about the soul. In your opinion, what is the most powerful storyline that the soul has? Oh, the most important. I think they're all important. Um, God, I think, I think well, we we touch upon the the love story quite a bit. It's um Franny's driving force. Um, drives a lot of the decisions that she makes. Some of the annoying decisions. Some of the you know, um, decisions that you're like, what is happening? But um, yeah, it's it's she goes on like a a crazy emotional roller coaster um with Madame and in her life separate from Madame also. Um, I think the most important thing perhaps is just showing a woman like her, a Jamaican woman who is is powerful and despite her um, hardships and the dark past that she has, she hasn't been downtrodden on and she's been resistant to that. And she's still, you know, tender inside and still able to love. And she's in a period drama in Georgian London. I think that's incredible. It's not something you see all the time, you know. Exactly. Well, what, what was it an emotional challenge playing a Franny? Uh, how were you prepared for this role? I wouldn't say it was an emotional challenge because I quite enjoy um, going to those dark places and I quite enjoy crying and kind of really digging deep and finding those like true raw moments for my characters. And with Franny, um, yeah, I just kind of after fleshing her out as a person, as a human being, um, from, you know, using the novel as my holy grail, using the script, and also adding in my own things, like um, creating her favorite colors, um, also created this really cool playlist for her that I'd play if I needed to get in the zone. Um, and yeah, just kind of after knowing her so well, I was just always ready um, to just inhabit her and become her and be the vessel for her. So whenever we did the scene, it just kind of, it just came to me. Um, it was never pre-planned. It was always in the moment and kind of just enjoying the ride. Okay. <laughs> so my last question is, uh, were you inspired by someone in particular as a role model for Fanny? Um, oh, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say I was inspired by anyone, particularly for Franny. But I think just the way I like carry myself as a as a woman and the way that I kind of resonated with her. I'd say my mum. Um, yeah, just seeing her as a strong woman um who's always carried herself. She's always been the glam one in the room, you know. She um as a mum, she everyone would always be turning like, whose mum is that? That's my mum. And she would always advocate <laughs> for me at school. And I guess just having that kind of role model as a woman, um, it was clear to see how a woman like that could be um you know franny's um own mother fibba was a very strong a woman who was like commanded her own space and that's someone who franny could look to um but yeah i just i think black women in general have been an inspiration to this role um yeah i think we're great <laughs> well, that was an awesome answer <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure and i love the soul so congrats, you Thank did amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.